your second job after protecting yourself while here in this dimension is for you to be authentic. You have to, it's your job to be your authentic self. Many of us take ourselves off of the path of the blessings, of the spoils, of the materials, of the life that we should have principally because we're not authentic. And the reason that most people are not authentic, they're being something that they're not, is because they're trying to people please. When you try to people please, you are playing a dangerous game. Number one, because you took yourself off the path that was meant for you to travel. But number two, people actually will recognize that and it will have the reverse effect that you think that it's going to have. So you're thinking that you're going to be accepted, but in actuality, people despise people that are not themselves. So here's the thing, being authentic, being authentic or your authentic self is going to turn some people off, but it's also going to bring the right people into your life. By right, that means the people that are aligned or in alignment with you as a person, with your energy. So that is the difference. So you may make it, one of the worst things I've always said is, I never want to make it as someone else. By make it, that means achieve all the things that I want. My goals, my dreams, my aspirations. I never want to do that. That's not my goal. My goal is to make it as myself. That way, the people that surround me, the field that I'm in, everything that I have is based upon who I am. So that means that my life is structured and tailored to fit me specifically. But if I make it as someone else, listen, the best pillow to sleep on at night is a clear conscience. That is going to help you get the best rest at night. And when you are not yourself, you know that somewhere deep inside, it's not, you don't have that fulfillment. You may have the spoils, the trappings, but listen, what is a car? A car can be stolen tomorrow. What is a house? A house can burn down. What are clothes? Clothes can be lost. Your luggage can be lost tomorrow on a flight. You never see that, those clothes again that you spent maybe $10,000 on. So what was it all worth? But you, who you become, you can take that. I can take that with me to Germany. I can take it with me to Nigeria. I can take it with me to Brazil. Who you become along the way, develop. It's a tailor-made development process for you when you are authentically yourself. You're gonna get the best people. You're gonna find that you're gonna get the people that you most get along with because they're gonna accept you for you and they, I, I, they pretty much resonate with who you are. And they respect that. So they're in your life, not under false pretenses. They're in your life because they genuinely like who you are. But when you're someone else, when you're living a synthetic lifestyle, that's what we call it, well, everything that you get has to be synthetic. So if you live based upon a lie, your life will essentially be a lie. You will have some things that will look good, but they'll be temporary. And all of this stuff is just fleeting. So you'll never truly feel good about yourself. Truly in heart, the things that fulfill the soul, you won't have it. You will have the earthly trappings, some, and that may be temporary, but you won't have that which fulfills you. And nothing can replace that. Nothing can replace the fulfillment of knowing I'm doing this business because this is what I love. Maybe I didn't make 10 million. Maybe I didn't make 20 million. But maybe I made 300,000. Maybe I make 200,000 a year. But that two to $300,000 per year is like 10 million. You understand when you make it as yourself. And don't say that two to $300,000 per year is like 10 million. Two to $300,000 as yourself is like 10 million 
as another person. It's even better than that. It's even better than that. Because you don't have to worry. You're just being yourself. There's no work involved. This is why when you are yourself, there's, you don't have to work at being yourself. You just have to work at developing yourself. When I'm authentically myself, that means that all I've got to do is make better that which I am. And I can read to make myself better. I can live life to make myself better. I can eat better to make myself better, to enhance, to get the most. I, this camera that I'm speaking into right now. Now, I can turn the camera on and I can record the camera. But the camera has many more functions on it. So what do I need to do? Read the instructor's manual to get the most out of the channel. I mean, out of the camera. And that's all we're doing in life. We're just reading. We're not, we're not, I'm not using a, a Sony camera and then I'm going over trying to be a, a Canon. I'm not looking at the Canon camera trying to figure out why the Sony camera is not working the same way. Authenticity opens doors that being fake cannot. So you don't have a you don't have to be afraid. There's somebody for everybody. There are billions of people in this world. There's billions of ways. There's thousands of ways to make money. You're not pigeonholed to one way because you see somebody making it that way. You don't have to go and fake your way all the way. You can now, don't get me wrong, being yourself may take a little longer. But I'd rather be stable when I'm older than, than when I'm younger. I get it when I'm younger, then I fall off when I'm older. I'd rather, I'd rather have the stability of authenticity as I chronologically age. Because life is going to get harder. And guess what? If you haven't built up a base of people that love you for who you are, that are there for you and vice versa, as you age, you've got your circle, you've got community. What do they say? Find your tribe. The way that you find your tribe is not even by looking, but by being. So I'm my authentic self. If you know me, you know that I don't smoke or drink. So the people around me, for the most part, are not smokers and drinkers. Now that doesn't mean that I exclude somebody because they smoke and drink, but they usually don't do that around me. Almost never. You're not doing it around because you know who I am. So you know, don't even ask me to smoke a blunt or a black and mild or any of that stuff. Because you know me. It's not me, you know, smoking and coughing around people, trying to be a part of the crowd. Or I'm getting drunk. The most that I may drink is wine, special occasions. And maybe a couple times a year. And I, on one hand, I can, I can count. And, and this, these fingers, I won't use all the fingers in one year on how many times I drink wine. So point being is that I'm not changing that because I understand that that's number one, that's who I am. But I understand these things to be healthy for me, to be life bringing and life giving. So why would I sacrifice that? This is authentically who I am. Why do I need to, to change that to fit in? What kind of man am I if I'm doing that? What kind of example would I be setting? And so you can teach more by being than by talking. Because we're looking. People are looking at your example. They're, they're looking. And believe it or not, unique individuals are the ones that really flourish in this world. And we respect. Think of all of the people that, that have done great things on this planet. The reason that we love and we respect them is for their uniqueness. I don't care if it's Albert Einstein, Graham Bell, uh, Michael Jordan, uh, Beyonce, Steve Jobs. It doesn't matter. Malcolm X, uh, Elon Musk, whoever they are. You respect them because of their uniqueness. There's something special about them. And you know what's special about them? The same thing that's special about you is that we're all different, but they doubled and tripled down on their uniqueness. They didn't try to be like anybody else. That's where the mistake is. You're worried about 
what somebody else is going to think about you. I got news for you. Everybody gets buried in the ground or your ashes get spread. So nobody's better than anybody. So there's no need to try to please or fit in with this individual. This is who I am. And I'm naturally this person, so this is who, what I naturally should be doing. Remember, anytime you go against nature, life is gonna be hard. And the first nature that you definitely can't go against is who you are as a person. That's like, the, that's just starting off. If you're starting a business, that's like starting a business in the red. You're already down. So now you've got to do extra work to battle back, especially if you go years and years and years and you make a living of being inauthentic and you go home and you look yourself in the mirror. That's a difficult thing that you can't look yourself in the mirror and knowing that you're a fraud to yourself, to yourself and to the creator. Being authentic, it will rub some people the wrong way. But it doesn't matter as long as you're not disrespecting anybody. Now, I have to say that. I didn't say be disrespectful. We're not here to be disrespectful. We're, we're here to put our print into the world. That's what we're here to do. Stay authentic. Stay authentic. It's going to open a lot of doors for you. Double down on that. This is who you are. Minus the disrespect, minus the foul behavior, minus the evil, whatever. Because nobody is necessarily that. Those are things that you kind of learn and you pick up along the way. And you gravitate and you hold on to that. This is in the form of righteousness. I'm hoping that it's in the form of righteousness. Stay authentic. And watch your life take off.